it all happened three days before. Beauty's father was on his way home when a blizzard forced him to seek refuge in a deep, dark forest. Fortunately, just when he thought he could go no further, he happened upon a very large and isolated mansion. This was no ordinary mansion. On the outside, it was the dead of winter. But inside, it was springtime. And the garden was filled with magnificent multicolored roses. The father had never seen such beautiful flowers, and he could not resist plucking one. This rose will make a lovely present for my youngest daughter, Beauty. Ah. Seemingly, from out of nowhere, the owner of the mansion appeared. A hideous and frightening beast. How dare you insult my hospitality by stealing one of my roses? I gave you shelter from the storm, and this is the thanks I receive? I will give you one chance to save your life. You must bring one of your daughters here to take your place. Oh, beauty. I should have let the beast slay me rather than promise him this. It was my fault, and I should pay the price. No, father. It was my fault for asking you to bring me a rose. You must return to take care of our family. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. And with that, Beauty ran off to take her father's place before the horrible beast. They were sure that they would never see each other again. Beauty, please forgive me. Farewell, my father. Farewell. Beauty awoke, she found herself in the most beautiful and enchanting room that she had ever seen. She thought that she must surely be dreaming and rushed to the window hoping to discover where she really was. for my father. He meant no insult when he picked your beautiful rose. You see, he did it only for me. You play beautifully, sir. Thank you, beauty. However, your loveliness far surpasses any music I have ever heard. Oh. together. each other only for a short time each day, during the evening when they dined together. As they dined, the beast lit only one candle at Beauty's end of the table, and he himself ate in darkness so that she would not have to see his horrible face. But then, one day, the beast said in a hesitant voice, Beauty, I want you to be my wife. Beauty was greatly saddened. If I refuse, you will kill my father, won't you? <sighs> the beast's great heart was broken, but he would not give up and ask Beauty to marry him every evening for the next two months. But then, one day...
Just leave me alone. Please, give me your hand. No, never. My hand is ugly. I don't care. Beauty bandaged the beast's arm. But when she was finished, she was greatly confused. This time, to her, the beast's arm no longer seemed ugly or horrible. But during this time, Beauty's father became very sick and he called out for her. Oh, Beauty, if I could just see you one more time, Beauty. The beast had a magic mirror, and he saw the sadness in Beauty's father's eyes. What? My father is sick? Beauty, I am sure that if he sees your smiling face, he will surely recover. What? Why, does that mean that you will let me return to him? Yes, but you must promise to return to me before the week is over. I promise. Oh, yes, I promise. Yes? All right. You must be off, for your father needs you now very much. But you have given me your promise, and I need you even more than he. If you do not return, I know that I shall surely die. Father! Beauty! Remember your promise, Beauty! Beauty! Oh, Father! It was just as the beast had said. As soon as her father saw Beauty's smiling face, he quickly recovered. Her father was so happy that he invited all of their friends and neighbors to a great party to welcome Beauty home. Beauty danced and danced, and the time flew by ever so quickly. In no time at all, the week was ending. Beauty, you promised. Why don't you return? Beauty, my heart is breaking. You must come back. Ah, my father, it is time for me to return to the forest. Beauty, you can't leave us again. There's no reason for you to return to that frightening place. But father, if I don't return as I promised, he will surely die. Farewell. Don't go. No. Don't go. Come back, Beauty. Please. Come back. As Beauty spurred her horse through the driving rain, she did not understand what had happened to her. How could she leave her father and family to return to such a horrible creature? It could only be because she had fallen in love. Yes, that was it. The beast's kindness had won the beauty's heart. I'm back. I've returned. Where are you? Oh! Please, it's me. I came back just as I promised. Don't die, please. I came back because I love you. Don't you see that? I love you. I love you. Don't die, please. I've come back. <laughs> <laughs> and then a very wonderful thing happened. You see, that ugly beast was really a handsome prince. A spell had been cast over him by a wicked magician, and he had been doomed to appear as a beast until he could oh. find someone to love him in spite of his ugliness. Beauty, you have saved my life. had found true love, and he and Beauty returned to his castle to be married very happily ever after.